Hallelujah. Listen. The church must send. Or it will end. That's a mystery. Why would Jesus, who wants to build his church, tell the people who will build the church, go into all the world? Because you see, when you go, you are changed. Pastor Tom is different from every other American who he was a colleague to in, in America before he came here. He's completely different. He's a changed person. Because going changes you. It yeah. makes you a real Christian. It makes you stable. It makes you faithful. It makes you suffer. It makes you change even your personality. Oh yes. And of course, wherever God is sending you, you know, you must go. And if he's sending you to, to be here, yeah. then you must come. Yeah. This, is, this is your field. But here, you are a mustard seed. You are a little drop being sent everywhere. Listen. Listen. There, there, is, there is nothing like, there is nothing like being saved without being called. Can you put it on 2 Timothy 1.9? Put it on. There's nothing like being saved without being called. I'm waiting for you. you guys, see me for laying on of hands after. It says, Who has saved us? This is Paul. Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling? There's nothing like just saved saved us and called us everybody is called it's, it's, it's you who doesn't have it all of you who are here who are there, who are wherever you are he has saved us look at it on the screen now he has saved us and called us with the Holy God not according to our works but according to his own purpose whatever God wants whatever God wants but I tell you if there was ever a shining example of, of a missionary somewhere sent somewhere and you see a, mission, a missionary is not somebody on holiday for six weeks you know ministry takes your life it doesn't take it doesn't take a few weeks or a few months of your life uh, that is why when Cain and Abel offered this one offered blood this one offered salad vegetables God doesn't eat salad. God wants your life. Your whole life. He wants the whole life. God, God is not after. God is not after a weekend. Or a holiday. Summer vacation. He wants your whole life. So those who think you can accomplish something in two years. Somebody is going to be crazy. Listen. The whole life. The man standing here is almost 70 years old. He came here 20 whatever years old. That's it. He's been a Christian for so many years. Serving the Lord and working in the church. That's all he's done. Serving the Lord, working in the church. Yes. God wants your life. I said God wants your life, your whole life. Lift your hands. He wants you doesn't want your money. Your money is nothing. Come on. He wants you. He wants you. He wants everyone in this church to believe and to know that you are not just saved. You are saved and called. He has saved you and called you. Lift up your hand and surrender yourself to Jesus. Lord, I surrender my life. Lord, I surrender my life to your call, to your will, to your plan to your purpose thank you Lord for faithfulness thank you for opening the hearts opening the ears opening our hearts and touching us Lord sending us Lord everywhere according to your plan according to your purpose thank you that there shall be no longer barrenness Lord and emptiness Lord and hollowness Lord and shallowness in our midst Thank you for your power that is ministered at this moment to everyone, Lord. Thank you for saving us, Lord. Thank you for calling us, Lord. Thank you for sending us, Lord. Thank you for touching our lives, 
Lord. Thank you for raising up more sons and daughters, Lord, of Pastor Tom, Lord, in this place, Lord. Thank you for raising up new apostles, Lord, and pastors and teachers and workers, Lord, and helpers, Lord, and singers, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lift your holy hands up and receive from the Lord grace, sir. grace to hear, grace to obey, grace to follow, grace to say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, here am I. Send me, Lord. Use me, Lord. If you can use anyone, Lord, use me, Lord. Touch my life, Lord. Mata sako mara mayola mashando kabara. Use me, Lord, I pray. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that he that began a good work, he that started a good work in our lives, shall surely bring it to a perfect end. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you for starting something and finishing it, Lord, in our life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everyone shouted your loudest, Amen. Hallelujah! 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 Listen, listen. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. You know, when, when you are with a great person, it can, it can make you turn off your engines. Because Pastor Tom is here, there are many of us whose engines are low you are almost off because you are running on his grace philippians 1 7 says you are partakers of my grace so you are partaking of his grace but you look at one man what he has done but you see one man does very little that's why for me i'm always encouraging people to work for the lord because after he has worked for so so much so long in this country the country has more sinners, more evil, more wickedness than when he started preaching. So it is not possible that God only calls one person. God looking for many people. God is looking for all of you. If only you say yes. Yes, Lord, here am I. Use me. Use me. Don't be too concerned about your money. Some of you are, you feel so much about your money. Maybe the money, you know, what is your money? Your money is nothing. It's your life. Your life. And I know God is going to anoint you. God is going to send you. God is going to use you. Give the Lord your loudest amen and amen.